Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, drawing with Michael. I am, of course, Michael. Today we're going to be doing a really quick wildlife drawing of a gorilla. Um, working on toned paper with a Kohinoor uh, Carmine Red woodless pencil. Um, I like working on toned paper because it gives me a nice medium base <coughs> to work from. Uh, so, it's been, gosh, it's been a little stint since I gave you guys a video. I do apologize for that. Just because it's been, you know, kind of busy and just the way things work, uh, you know, during the week. Uh, sometimes it's kind of hard for me to do the videos. I still try to do, you know, as much as I can, but occasionally it just, it doesn't work out. So that's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> Um, since I don't make any money off the videos, it, you know, I have to basically flip the bill for every single time I sit there at my drawing desk and do the, uh, you know, do the drawing. And which isn't bad because I'm basically paying myself in doing the piece. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. So that's kind of, you know, what I'm trying to say. So basically, whenever I, you know, work on wildlife... I, I always treat my drawings with the same kind of overall feeling. You know, I'm trying to basically rough in the gesture, which is what I'm doing now. I remember the muscle groups, um, whether it's a make-believe <clears throat> creature or it's a uh, creature of, uh, of our world, which is what this is. This is a gorilla. So I love doing gorillas. I remember whenever I was uh, at school, there was... Um, there was a great uh, zoo near we were called the Monkey Jungle. <clears throat> I believe it's called the Monkey Jungle over at Ringling in Sarasota. And I would go there and I would draw the uh, the different creatures, the monkeys and uh, you know the gorillas and whatnot. And it was just really that time that I got to kind of spend with myself drawing the creatures and, and understanding their anatomy and, and learning certain things about them that normally you know you'd look in books for it's always better to go and have access to these things uh, in real life and the reason why is because there are things that you know books really can't tell you in terms of you know where things are perspective and and understanding how muscles move, you know, and, and like this big, for instance, like this big muscle group right here, you know, he puts all of his force on, you know, he's got his bicep and his tricep, and, <clears throat> and then he's got his chest that poofs out just a little bit, and then another shoulder comes around here, right, and comes down, and his belly droops down. The gravity's pulling down on it the whole time. Um, but yeah, so I just, I like doing animals because it kind of recenters me. What does that mean, recenters you? You know, whenever I get so flustered with my professional life or so just overrun with work or, you know, life in general, to draw an animal really centers me and kind of puts me back in that correct mindset of where I need to be as an artist, right? Um, and besides, animals are fun. <laughs> it, 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 you know, it's just one of those deals that I think every artist, especially if you're an illustrator, um, should learn how to do animals. It's important just because it gives you, you know, a different perspective on your life in general. Like I got these big muscles that are underneath that you can't see because that arm is kind of jutted this way. <clears throat> right? Maybe you don't see. Uh, and then whenever you do certain studies, it kind of gives you a different perspective of what the animal is. You know, a really good example of that are elephants. I love elephants, especially baby elephants. They're just so daggum cute. And I did uh, 
I did a study on them a while back and it taught me a lot. It taught me a lot about expression, about character, about how to move in and out of these forms and still get some type of you know semblance of realism and I really just enjoy doing you know, I like doing elephants I like doing animals in general but I just like doing them um, also I got a decent body work out of it which is really cool it's always nice I didn't work digitally on those I've worked traditionally on those I got his arm that kind of comes out here because he's got all that force pushing up on this uh, muscle right here all right, comes up down comes over comes right here and here's that bicep right there and then his elbow comes here all right and then I'm gonna come here it comes over I'm gonna color this in somewhat good 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 so now what I like to do now is I start kind of putting in a couple of the details to kind of flesh out you know, what I want the illustration to be. Since he's looking up this way, maybe I'll have the come around this way. And since I've already I've already fleshed in some of the uh, you know other details, and he's got this leg, right? Got this muscle that comes here, right? He's got his Easiest muscle here, right there. We've got this nice shadow come here, right? And then comes up, and that's booty. It's Maximus here, and then his knees right here. And then I've got this shape that comes down. I'm not gonna go too far into this area over here because this is a secondary, right? A secondary uh, part of the drawing. So I don't really. Okay, so this is a really good example of right now what I want you guys to pay attention to is some of the draw throughs that I'm doing. So you notice, like I, I brought this line down and I went through this arm and I continue down because I'm thinking of the overall shape and form of his body. And I got this muscle that comes up, he's got some hair back here, and he's kind of three quarter turned, right? So I'm going to come here and I'm going to start putting in just a little bit of tone and value to kind of bring that face forward a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put this nice dark line right here, right here to kind of give it, again, some of that form. Color these in. And this particular, here, yeah, we'll do this. And this particular uh, pencil is not very good for details. It's more of a kind of a broad stroke, which is fine for this drawing. Again, I'm not, I'm not rendering it per se. Um, just trying to get a little bit of value in here. Okay, remember, even in the construction of this particular character, I've got to remember that here's the corner of his eye, goes right to the top of his ear. Very similar to humans. His ear comes around and it loops around. I'm going to color that in just a little bit. And I've got to give a nice dark value right here to help push his arm forward and push his head forward just slightly. I'm going to shade this. Okay. That's pretty good. Color that in just a little bit. All right. So now we'll come back here. Here's a really good one I was trying to say was as I got distracted with my own drawing. Um, you know, in terms of how things wrap and how things uh, three-dimensionally look, right? So this leg comes here, that muscle kind of juts out because his, again, his knee comes here. And we're going to have some grass. I'm going to shade this in just slightly. Right. So now this comes here because of the other side of his buttock comes here and his legs gonna come slightly forward because I gotta have something to balance right so here's his knee that's the very very end of his knee and this comes here and then it comes straight down right and then and it's not on the same plane as this okay it's a little bit smaller 
right, and then we're going to color it in because it's in the background, in shadow, right? So now what I'm going to do, he's got a little fur back here. Finally was able to get on some decent allergy medication. My goodness, it's been horrendous this year. You know, in years past, I've been able to manage pretty well. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm just going back and I'm reconfirming some of these areas of where, you know, I want to have a little bit of fur jutting out just a little bit, maybe right there. Maybe I've kind of got this coming here. He's got his thumb, right? It goes like this. Here's that plane right here. Here's that plane right here. You know, going forward just a little bit. I'm going to go in. I'm going to mess around just slightly with some of these elements right here because I want to push. You know, I want to have that value come in just a little bit. Right? Okay. Got that piece of muscle comes here. And here's the other part of his. I guess his deltoid. Here. Pectoral muscle here. His pectoral. All right. Shade a little bit right here to give a little bit of definition. I'm not feeling this eye. That's why I keep going away from it. I keep coming back to it. Because it's, it's in need of some love. Right? So I need to come here. Here. I need to get a little bit of eye shine on there. There we go. A little bit better. Okay. Okay. A little crease right here. A little bit of shading. Right? And a little bit of grass here and there. Nice. Right? I guess he's just kind of proud and looking out. He's like, where's my women? Where's my ladies? You know, those gorillas. That's what they're all about. Protecting, protecting their area, their children, their ladies, you know. It's always fascinating too to go and to look at these animals in person and how incredible they are and how big and how wonderful and just majestic and I just love looking at gorillas and big, big uh, apes, you know, the great apes, orangutans, orangutans, you know, he's got his main muscle here, I'm gonna go a little bit darker right here, and I'm going to call it. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today, just kind of a, a really quick warm-up drawing of a gorilla. I encourage you guys to, there we go, I encourage you guys to draw something small. You know, this wasn't anything that I was going to sit down and render. Again, this is just a sketch. This helps me, you know, keep, keep my hands flowing, keep my, you know, my arms and my brain connected. You know, that's a lot of times that's what happens. You know, you stop drawing for a little while. Or if you're just a beginner and you and you wonder what happened to my drawing skills, what happens is is the communication between your eyeballs, your brain, you know, and, and everything in between that kind of gets in the way. Yeah, this is just a secondary part of the drawing. We can even do this. Have some weeds come out here. It's kind of looking in the jungle. You've got Stuff like this, right? So thank you guys for visiting the channel today. Please like and subscribe if you like what you see. I love doing drawings like this because they're really quick. <laughs> you know, I love doing wildlife, and I'm probably you know doing a wildlife series um, similar to what I did with the elephants a while back, and just getting in there and, and, and examining you know the anatomy and 
and physiology of elephants and, and the hierarchies and stuff. And that's all just fun, you know? So I think that's, that's the drawing for today. Thank you guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye.